Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to Playing the Field. It's a Bachelor podcast. I am Ryan Field, the sports anchor at Eyewitness News here in New York City. And when I'm not talking about sports, we're talking about a different sport, the game of love. And joining me now to do that here on Playing the Field, as always, our Bachelor experts, Jen Matteris from here at ABC in New York, and our Bachelor insider, Gina Sirico from our sister station, KABC in Los Angeles. Ladies, great to be here. We are back again. Just because we are in between seasons does not mean there's not a plethora of Bachelor news to talk about. And the big one that just came out, we finally have our golden Bachelorette, Jen. I know. It was a lot of speculation. Could it be someone from outside the franchise, inside the franchise? Now we know. It is Joan Vassos. Yeah. Yes. I didn't know how to say her last name. Yes. Joan Vassos. And Gina, we were pulling for Leslie. We had her on the show. We loved her. She was saying, you know, if they asked me, I would certainly consider it. I think a lot of fans sided with us in wanting her to be the Golden Bachelorette. But they go with Joan. First off, your level of surprise at that news. And what do you ultimately think led to their decision to make her the Golden Bachelorette? Not Fully surprised, but a little surprised because I did think they were going to go with Leslie. Um, but I I love Joan. Um, I have met her before. Uh, I met her at the finale of The Golden Bachelorette. She is lovely. Um, I feel like they probably went with her. There was a there was unfinished business with with Joan. She left the show um, because her daughter had given birth and had some postpartum issues. Um, so she needed to be with her daughter and Gary and, and Joan both kind of bonded over their love and the importance of family. So he understood and, you know, said that it was right for her to go. But she said she always wondered kind of like if she had stayed, what might have happened? What could have been? And so now this is kind of like a an unfinished business type story. Um, and I think she'll be great. She's energetic and she's fun. And, you know, she has said, you know, look, the the casting director that we spoke with months ago is she now she knows now we know who it is. And we know she's going to have to have men who are, you know, spontaneous and not youthful, but like have great energy and and layers and all of that and i and empathy and i do feel like you know i hope she gets like some great great guys i hope she gets some great guys it's very hard these days in this world of social media and insiders and people breaking stories to keep something like this under wraps but when this dropped when the um uh, upfronts happened for ABC and we finally got this news everybody was like whoa and that was kind of the the main reaction to all of this one because of the surprise factor that we didn't know that it was her I was still thinking it was going to be Leslie but was she on the show do you think Jen long enough to really uh get the um what's the word I'm looking for impact? Was she, yeah was she on the show long enough to have the impact that people really had some sort of connection with her that will now make her uh, that much more attractive now as the golden bachelorette I think her situation with her family and her daughter in particular a lot of people whether you're younger or older could relate to the fact that you know you just need to be there for your family and I think they respected her for that so there was a connection pretty early and I think it was kind of a bummer for fans that she did have to leave and so while some people might have preferred Leslie because she's so fun and right. we got to know her better throughout the season uh, I think Joan has that really like calm heartfelt thing that they liked about Gary and another thing is will they bring Gary back he's single he could he could come back and another one floating around is who we had hoped to set Leslie up with Mark Anderson yes so what do you think? What do you guys think of that? I mean, I, I like that. I mean, Leslie was all about Mr. Anderson. <laughs> if you guys <laughs> caught the last episode of Playing the Field, she was uh, all about the possibility of that happening. And, and Gina, I guess there's some excitement with this, but also because it's much like the launch of The Golden Bachelor, it's a new show. It's, it's kind of a, a branching off of this great franchise. And now we get The Golden Bachelorette. This is something that we've never seen before. Absolutely. And I think it's going to be really interesting. Look, we weren't sure when we first started, you know, with the Golden Bachelor, we weren't sure what this was going to be like. And what we found out was the women who were involved in the show, the women who were there to win Gary's heart, they captured America's heart in a different way yeah. um, and gave people hope. And, you know, 
let them know that they were visible. And it's something that Joan has said before. It's something that so many of them had said before, that people come up to them and say, thank you. Thank you for giving us hope. Life is not over after a certain age. And I think that this is going to continue with Joan's season. I think, you know, I think it's great. And by the way, I would just like to point out that the both of you thought it was going to be somebody bigger and wanted yes. somebody bigger, like a quote unquote bigger name. I don't and recall I saying that. Gonna... Is that true? Should we play the tape uh, back? Let's, Absolutely, let's tape I did. on that one, please. I, I, I was hoping it was going to be Kathy Lee. I would have thought that would have been, been fun. Better. You that did. That would have been you a did. lot of fun. But I told you it was going to be somebody from the franchise. And so there you go. Gina is just, right once chalk, again. Chalk that in the right column. Oh for Gina. man, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, check marks in the right column for you, Miss Rico, and we appreciate that. And listen, we're excited to have Joan on this podcast when it yes. comes time to talk to her about this and her journey uh, as that gets underway. Another big piece of Bachelor news that just came out: Colton Underwood and his husband Jordan C. Brown announced they are going to have a baby via surrogate. Yes, that is more exciting huge. news. Yeah, that is a big step forward. I mean, they got married. Now they're starting a family. I mean, he is just full throttle. Let's go family time. <laughs> and obviously, Gina, this was an interesting pivot when we talk about Colton's journey and mm -hmm. the unexpectedness of that news when it came out. But I feel like Bachelor Nation has wrapped their arms around Colton and they're excited about this news with he and Jordan. Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that Colton and Jordan have been open about the fact that they actually had some struggles with this. Mm -hmm. yeah. They had, they first said that they, you know, they had been talking about wanting to, you know, start a family early on, you know, early in their relationship and good for them because that just like, you know, it sets the right thing to, you know, move forward with a relationship. So great. They were on the same page with that. When they started this, I believe it was like two years ago, they started on this journey to try and, you know, have a baby. And, you know, he talked about how he had some struggles, you know, on the infertility, you know, with fertility. And um, I, I think that's great. I think it's important to hear from all voices about this particular situation, especially when IVF is in the news so much right yeah. now. I feel like it's mm -hmm. important to be able to talk about it. So, I mean, and, you know, I love he mentioned that um, the surrogate was actually the one who told them that um, that they were that they were pregnant. And I think uh, that was that's beautiful. awesome. So, yeah. Good Another for him. Little bachelor it's baby. It's going to be fun to watch him be a dad. bachelor baby. <laughs> yeah. We love uh, bachelor babies. We exactly. are looking forward to announcing that news. Uh, well, let's see, what, about eight months from now? <laughs> I mean, maybe seven and a half. Probably less than that. Shorter. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe they a waited shorter. a little bit. Yeah, a little uh, shorter. Uh, speaking of babies, uh, Trista and Ryan, one of the <laughs> Bachelor Nation's favorite couple, uh, they have a beautiful family, and they've long been considered um, one of the couples that's actually survived The Bachelor, yes. uh, where a lot of couples uh, don't make it, a la Gary and Teresa, uh, most recently. <laughs> uh, but now there's all kind of speculation, rumors flying around the internet, what's going on with her. Uh, her husband weird. Ryan says she's inaccessible, but they are great. There's some speculation that she's filming another reality series. Uh, what do we make of all of this, Jen? And I think a lot of people, first and foremost, at this news don't want to uh, assume the worst, but they are not oh, they really thrilled there. to hear this. Yeah. They went from divorce to death to what are they talking about? Yeah, his post about? when he re released it was very interesting. We could do a dramatic reading. Could do uh, it. In uh, your <laughs> most dramatic voice, please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'll be here to love you. I'll be here. Dot, 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 forever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's he's always been a sensitive guy. Yes, he has. Um, that's why she loved him so much. He's she a poet? Yeah. Is that what? I think he wrote her, if I'm recalling, from 20 Yeah, it was a long time ago. ago. Yeah. Um, but so he misses her. He wishes she was there. Fans were getting very worried. So then he did a post that worried them more because it was like, I miss her. We miss her as in the kids. Yeah. But then he said, Trista is fine. We are yes. fine. We're yes. great. She's at a place in her life where she's searching a bit. And Gina, when you heard this and read this, uh, what were your first thoughts that came to mind? Well, I will say when the when he wrote the first post, a friend of mine messaged me and said, oh, my God, what is happening? Because, you know, this this is who I, you know, they come to me for bachelor news, I guess. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was like, oh, I don't even know. But do recall that he was the one who would write her love notes and poems and things like that in their season. So there has to be something going on. And then we saw the speculation that she was on going to this other reality show and filming. So I was like, oh, OK, that actually makes sense because they don't, you know, 
no phone contact, no, you know, no nothing. They're just off for several weeks filming. And so I get that part. I feel like the first one really jolted people, but the second one, I don't know. I, for me, I was like, all right, the rumors are probably true and she's probably filming this other show. That's fine. I do know that he, you know, they they, al- they always have, you know, everyone always has their, their, their things. His was writing notes and, um, you know, this is what he said. I think he also said he was going to go back to, you know, posting about his dog and, and flowers <laughs> right, or right. whatever. So it's like, yeah, let's not worry, Bachelor Nation, about where your wife is, please. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. very peculiar how this whole thing came about. And we don't know for sure that it's a dating show. No, no, it's not a dating show. Okay, we don't I don't think it's show. a dating show. Yes. No, it's it's like a challenge show if we yeah. if without naming it. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I don't think he has to worry about that. I mean, you never know who you can meet, I suppose, sure. but sure. I mean, they've been together a long time and it sounds like she'd wanted to do something new and try something different and Hopefully it works out for everybody. I think we're all hoping it works out because <laughs> yeah, they, they are. Bachelor royalty. I mean, yes, bachelor royalty is a good way to put mm-hmm. it. Would we say they're the most beloved bachelor couple, Gina? Would we give them that that title? They're up there. They were one of the first. They were the first the to first. get married. Right. And they have last, you know, they have stood the test of time. I do feel like, you know, it, it, sometimes that's forgotten. But, you know, it was they a long are, time ago. They, right. It, yeah, it's been a long time. I mean, people who watch The Bachelor now probably don't even remember Trista and Ryan unless they are, you know, Bachelor. Well, that's bachelor, where they need the old bachelor, folks like, like us to come in to remind them <laughs> of the good old days. Calling old. Actually, yeah. I'm calling the old. Yeah, Before I was watching. Before social media, we would just watch The Bachelor. We could barely text back in those days. Yeah. Exactly. You had to pay 10 cents. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, my exactly. God. There was no group text. I miss those days when there was no group text. <laughs> That's or for there sure. was no, there were no um, keyboards on your phone. Right, exactly. Guys, okay, we we're derailing. We're gonna sound so old. <laughs> I know. Well, trust me, some of our references, people, I think, picked up on that a long time oh, ago. No. Uh, how about the other big news uh, that came out of ABC Upfronts? They finally announced where we're, when the the Bachelorette is gonna start with our yeah, girl Jen Tran. I believe Jen. it's July eighth. Yeah. So that's coming yes. in, coming in hot. Coming up, coming up. I yes. can't wait to see who she meets and falls in love with and all her different dates. I mean, she's so lovely and so sweet. And Ryan, for your sake, maybe it won't work out and you could still have a chance. I'm getting my rose <laughs> ready right now if it comes out of this little <laughs> oh center console. Here we go. We had to fold them up a bit. Well, listen, <laughs> we need to also talk to her when we bring her back on, uh, which I'm sure we will before this show airs, how she was playing possum with us, Gina. I mean, we interviewed her yeah. roughly a week before the announcement and she was certainly she certainly had us all fooled about her having no involvement with the bachelorette which makes me wonder uh oh if at that time she didn't know she was going to be the bachelorette but even that it short been a in advance, very last really? minute thing it was late it was late. it was very late yeah i mean think about it though i mean the speculation and the rumors were that it was going to be maria and that she even Mm -hmm. said on that call her daddy podcast that she was up to the point where they were doing fittings like clothing fittings so before she kind of said no i I don't think i'm going to do it and then i think there was also the the thought that it was going to be daisy and then she said no and she she talked about that with us as well she didn't think it was the right thing for her so i do feel like perhaps she didn't know at that time interesting we have to ask and find out we certainly will <laughs> yes. that's our job on playing the get field to, the to get to the that. bottom of these hard hitting questions but did you is- see the photo that jesse palmer posted with her which i believe so was cute. from her night 1 Um, and he just said, you know, like coming soon or something like that, but it's a great photo and she looks beautiful. And I'm, I hope she has a happy journey to love. But if she doesn't, we have a backup. This is true. (laughs) True. Is that me raising my hand at this time? That's you. We've got you you waiting in the wings. If there's one (laughs) role, if there's one role I've grown quite accustomed to over the years, it's being the shoulder to cry on. And I will happily do that (laughs) to help her through this journey. I am happy right. to play that role. Uh, but listen, it's nice to know go. that even in our quote unquote uh, down season, to use a sports term, or the off season, to use a sports term, that there are still uh, plenty of Bachelor headlines for us to talk about. And uh, there is I have one more. more. Oh, you, you do? As I, I was do, getting ready to wrap more. up. It's go ahead. little. I know. I have one more. It's little. It'll take me five seconds to tell you. So the Critics' Choice Association does something called the Real TV Awards, which is basically like 
reality, unscripted, et cetera, all those kinds of shows. And The Golden Bachelor is nominated for Best Relationship Show, and Gary is nominated for Male Star of the Year. How about so that? Those, yeah, there you go. Congrats, so all the people Gary. who were like, The Bachelor, The Golden Bachelor is ruined. It's not. There are people who really do still love it. Um, and those awards will be handed out in June, June 15th. That was more like 35 seconds, but listen, we're glad you got that little <laughs> nugget in there at the end. But important, I mean, listen, that just goes to show something that we've talked about on this show and really what we're looking forward to with the Golden Bachelorette was how much the Golden Bachelor kind of captured the hearts of America in a different way than The Bachelor and The Bachelorette had. Yes. And I guess this is just further proof of that with the Critics' Choice Awards. Yes, we'll have to see if the, the men play as nice as the women did in yes. their season. It's gonna be That's going to be the interesting I, dynamic. That's, that is, I was just thinking about that. Bunch of old think, dudes Ryan? hanging out in the Bachelor Mansion is going to be very interesting. Lights out like, at 8 o'clock. Old college days, though. You know, it could be like a... a old, a old college days. <laughs> Toga parties. Yeah, maybe they'll have one of those. Oh, no. my gosh. Oh, Little my Jeopardy, gosh. Wheel of Fortune, Golden Girls. <laughs> Time for bed, fellas. Let's wrap it up. Time for bed. <laughs> It's gonna be and nothing. It's speaking gonna be, of time to wrap it yeah, up, right. Ryan. It's gonna be nothing but breakfast dates on the uh, <laughs> this oh, season no. of the golden early bird right. dinners, early bird special. Okay, now we're being maybe mean. a bingo night. <laughs> I like an early bird dinner. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> uh, yeah. good stuff as always for uh, Jen and Gina. I'm Ryan. Another episode of Play in the Field coming your way real soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast. We love the support and the feedback from you, our viewers and our listeners, and we look forward to doing this again real soon on Play in the Field. <laughs>